Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and today we're going to show you how to do a remove inside of Mocha Pro in Adobe Premiere. To get started, we're going to navigate to Mocha Pro inside of our effects browser, and then we're going to drag and drop that right onto our timeline. From here, we click the Mocha button to launch Mocha Pro. This will read any clip in our timeline, and then load it in the Mocha interface. The first thing I need to do is I need to track the side of this fan in order to remove this graffiti. I take my X-spline and draw a shape around the side of the van. And then I turn perspective on. I'm going to turn my surface tool on and then align my surface tool to an area on the side of the van that I can follow. The surface tool shows me what the track is doing. And since this line can be animated, the surface tool is really the only reliable way to see what my track is doing. In order to create a rock solid remove, I must have a rock solid track. Then I will simply track backwards and forwards. I've started my track where my object is most parallel to the camera, largest in frame, and least blurry. Once my track is complete, I'm going to make my background shape larger to cover the graffiti. Then I'm going to rename my background layer to BG. From here, I'm going to select my X line and draw a shape around the graffiti that I'd like to remove, because it's a little vulgar. Next, we're going to rename this layer to Remove. Then I'm going to click on my Remove and link it to the background track using Link to Track. From here, I click on my Remove module, and we're going to use the foreground shape to define the area we want to remove and the background shape to replace it. I'm going to select a clean plate clip, and I can either use an insert layer from Premiere, or I can create my own clean plate by hitting Create. I have to have a clean plate because I can't see what's behind this graffiti, so I have to invent the information. I'm going to create this information inside of Photoshop. First, I'm going to select my rubber stamp tool, and I'm going to paint this out using other pieces of the image. I've sped this up because this is not the most interesting part of the demo. The whole paint process using the rubber stamp tool and the heel brush took about five minutes. Once my clean plate is complete, I can simply save my Photoshop file and it will automatically be updated back inside of Mocha. If I want to check my clean plate, I can hit edit and make sure that the frame number for my clean plate is the frame number I took the clean plate from. From here, I click use clean plates exclusively and because I want to match the lighting, I'm actually going to use illumination modeling since there's so much smoke in the shot. So to do that, I go to my illumination modeling and I click linear illumination modeling and that will match my lighting automatically for me throughout the shot. From here I hit save and close and I go back to my Premiere timeline. Inside of my effect editor I click render and in the drop down menu I make sure that I've selected remove. I can even adjust the mat by clicking on the mat drop down menu and hitting apply mat. I'll need to show what my visible mat will be and then I can actually adjust the feathering right here in my effect panel. If I layer this back over the top of my original footage, I will then have a transparent layer that I can degrain and regrain according to my tastes, just like that. So here is an A and B of my shot. And let's see what that looks like rendered. Here's the before, and Here's the after, and you can see that it's matched the lighting even through the smoke. If you have any questions, I am Mary Poplin, and you can find us on www.borisfx.com.